Let's see if we can help Tony here. He says, uh, I have a thing with contacts uh, that Apple support couldn't help me figure out. I'm getting bunches of contacts mysteriously added to con to my contacts app that I did not add. I'd like to stop them from being added and globally purge the ones that have been added to date. Uh, and he sent some screenshots where he showed a few contacts, one, you know, multiples for for the same person in different cases. And one had like all his notes and the other one just had like maybe an email address and, uh, you know, a, a LinkedIn profile or something else. And so uh, I've I've seen this before. I fought this battle before on my own stuff. And the, what you want to do in contacts is go to the view menu and make sure it is you are seeing the groups. It's going to add a third column to the left of your contacts. And that's going to show you where the sources for all of your contacts. It's not just going to show you the groups, but it's going to show you headers for iCloud. You might have one for LinkedIn. You might have one for Google. Uh, and those things are going to be the things that bring them in. Now, you can go into contacts and select multiple contacts and merge them if you have two people that are uh, the same uh, you, you would go to I think you uh, highlight the multiple cards and you go to the card menu and choose merge selected cards and th that way it would know ah okay you know this John F. Braun in my iCloud is the same as John F. Braun in my LinkedIn and now you've got all that data together so that would be one way of doing it the other way would be to not link extra contact sources into your contacts. And you do that by going into contacts, preferences, accounts, and go in here and uncheck the enable this account box uh, in order to figure out, you know, where you're, where you are and, uh, and or uncheck the, the enable this account box. I told you I was in a fog today, folks, I, I, you had warning, uh, but that would turn it off. And then, and then you're done. Like if, if you see LinkedIn in there or, you know, Google, if that's where they're coming from, then just turn that off and, and you're done. If you do choose to have multiple accounts, um, I have found contacts. Let's, it lets you set in, in the preferences. It lets you set a default account, right? So that when you go and just say new contact, that's what it adds it to unless you change something. I have watched that default account change multiple times. It, it, it has a mind of its own. So if you're going to have multiple accounts in there, set your calendar once a week to go in and make sure that it is uh, adding to the, the right account. So, yeah.